something. And then he's not really good at remembering dates, you know? So I usually don't hear from my brothers on my birthday. And I've long ago stopped uh, counter-hearing as in addressing their birthdays. I mean, you know, we're all old, older fellers now, and, uh, you know, um, Morris and Henrietta Fairhart, they don't do as much for birthdays. I mean, my mom will make me a nice pudding, a butterscotch or a pistachio pudding. You know, I used to be into cakes, but it's much better to have donuts and pudding now. You know, if you don't understand that donuts and pudding are superior, then I just don't know what to say. I don't know what world I'm in anymore. Here's what happens to me, and I'm Joe x race reporter. And Pi, too. I have a brother named Bill. Bill? Bill Vexter. William Vexter? I never knew. Yes. Oh, I never knew, kids. I have a brother named Bill. And you know what this brother does? This, this, this brother bullies me. No. He bullies me for... A penny. That's not bullying. Bullying is something you don't have to give over. You're... What is this? That would be like saying, give me all your pennies, as in your money. That's what he does. Yeah, but you just said a penny. No, no. Yeah, come on, Joseph Vivaldi can't be that much of a Scrooge. I, no, no, I mean, here's the thing. Bill Vester, he could ask for quarters, he could ask for dimes, he could ask for nickels, he could ask for dollars, he could ask for anything. But... My brother, Bill, will ask all pennies. He can ask all he wants. I'll give him a dollar and tell him to go break it for change. My answer would be, what do I look like, a bank? I mean, I may be really wide, you know, and stony looking, but I don't look that much like a bank. Your brother, uh, Bill, does he drink? I mean, I'm not sure. What does he need pennies for? Was he going to a Lilliputian uh, cat house, or what? I, I don't know. You know, my, my brother, Bill, is weird. How weird? Like, Ken Kesey weird? I don't know. He's just, uh, he's just, you know, I gotta invite him on the show one day. Maybe. If he's gonna be like that totem wolf guy, I think maybe you should invite him on another show. Um, uh, maybe... Maybe we can arrange a special Totem Wolf, Joe Vector, and Bill Vector on that. On the Totem Wolf. Maybe. So I guess we're done with the news stories, huh? There, yes, Dr. Yes, yes. Dr. Professor uh, Reverend uh, Vector over there. Are we are we ready to uh, call this one uh, Kaputsky or what? I think it's time to finish. Well, I think it's time to plug, wouldn't it be? You mind if I take it away there, old chum? Oh, plug, 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 plug. No, you won't. No, don't let him back in here. Absolutely not. I'll take a flame forward to the studio right now. I would rather it burn than be subjected to this again. Joe Vector, you can't do plugs for the Joseph Ebaldi Network after all this time. You know what? I am allowed to plug for the now. I should take that power to plug. That's good. I'm going to hit the button to for, for Totem Wolf to send him out the airlock into space. You, you, know, you know, I've been working for Joseph Evaldi for a long time now. You know, he, this is what Joseph Evaldi does. He, he says, I want you to open for my podcast. So I open the podcast, try doing that. Then he says he gives me the show with Kurt, which I'm grateful. But then he says, and you're not going to plug him. I'm going to plug for Joseph Evaldi. So this is what I'm going to plug. I'm going to plug for his book, A Soul Warrior's Journey. It's Joe Vector I'm going to plug, A Soul Warrior's Journey. It is a book. That is going to be an audio book. And it will be available sometime in November. It's a book with dreams as a murder mystery. 
It has a lot of other stuff in it too. too. And also, I plug Joseph Vivaldi's books and the Book of Seasons, which will be coming soon. The Joseph Vivaldi brand, the Joseph Vivaldi blog, the Joseph Vivaldi podcast, the Joseph Vivaldi way of life. He paints, he writes, check him out on Spreaker Kids, and don't forget iTunes and Amazon Kindle, where his books shine like a beacon. Go get them. I am Curtis Bearheart, an emissary from the Okanuts Network. Fortunately for us, we're in the Okanuts Studios, so I was able to use the airlock and successfully blow Totem Wolf into the vacuum of space. Now I can plug in safety, knowing that my environment is free of him. He likely survived the purge, but there's no way to know for sure. So anyway, we're going to do a nice little plug of the Okanuts Network in Victory. Uh, check out Oakwood's Eternity, where Oakwood Publishing's audiobooks, the creative writings of Richard Andrew Okus and David Michael Lockwood Jr., are presented on the Okanuts Network. Hopefully they'll be presented soon. There have been some setbacks, but that's not proper to discuss during a plug. We're not supposed to make excuses for our failures. We're supposed to push past them, so I will. Check out the other channel, Quantum Posey, where you hear the poetry and spoken word of Richard Andrew Wilkins. Then we have the Court of Pharaonic Eyes, a spirituality podcast where uh, Twilight Cricket reads uh, some stuff and asks some questions and talks spirituality, you know. Uh, and then, of course, there's Metrics of the Golden Hologram, a religious podcast about orthodoxy and such. And then Temporality Shadow, where, uh, I don't know, Twilight Cricket reads into this spirit radio, and there's some strange voices that come emanating out of the recording. If you choose to slow the playback, you may have experienced vocal anomalies, quote-unquote. Strange noises, voices, strange wailings and cries, and noises that Uncle Kurt can't really understand. Check it out. Ah, it's a little spooky. I'm going to warn you. It's scary. You might want to hold on to your pets and dive under a blanket or, you know, turn the heat on or off or whatever makes you comfortable. Order a pizza, you know. Uh, the Okanuts Network. Audiobooks, poetry, talk, paranormal investigation, creative baptism for every day. Spreaker.com, Amazon Kindle. Go get them, kids. Richard Andrew Focus. A good friend of the network. This is Joe Vexter. And this is Kurt. Curtis Bearheart. We kept this program from going into shambles with Paco Bearheart. With Totem Wolf. With Bill Vexter. So we're maintaining our stability and we're wrapping it up. I never really imagine that we would discuss my brother Taco. It almost makes me want to call him and find out how he is. Nah, I'll be okay. I think I'll eat a bunch of oatmeal cookies and fall asleep instead. I wonder what Christmas will be like. Whatever it is, there will be a large, fat hand extended in charity. And I just may slap it and go, too slow, or something. Maybe we should have a special... Christmas episode of Yesterday's News. Well, I'm sure we will. question is, what news story are we going to address? And if it's about Santa Claus or Rudolph or about the Grinch, or if it's about some other kind of Grinch that we've never met before. Who knows? Why hear Bill Vexter? I don't know anything about Bill Vexter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to meet him myself before I start figuring, uh, figuring uh, you know, some kind of an assessment. <clears throat> you know, I'm not one that, that uh, 
believe second or heard third hand stories okay. right away. I like hearing the both sides of the story. Okay, you know, we'll, we'll point that. Let's, let's wrap it up. I think it's time to uh, say goodnight, kids. Thanks for listening. This is Joe Vestoray's reporter. Have a good night.